What is this? This is a paper. This is not a normal paper. It's not from a shop. This paper is from in house. Even you can make some. So this video is about how to make it. You can have more. If you have less papers, you can use this papers to write draw or make anything so do you know that there are so many papers on the earth for our pictures to take photos and put a sticker on the wall that's that's made up of paper even in your books when you read you see paper i almost everything is paper for me so if you are running out of papers and you're throwing all the papers, what well, you can use these type of papers. And you know how many trees are chopping down. And if you can recycle with newspapers, or maybe you're drawing papers that you had drawn and your sister had scribbled or any type of papers, you can use this life hack. Let's see how to make it. We need old paper for recycling, a bowl, hot water, a cloth, mush, and a rolling pin. Let's see how to make it. Now, first we have to cut these old papers into small pieces. I now tear up the pieces. So next we need hot water. Be careful of the hot water. You will burn your hand. So you always need the adult's help. We have to mix it. Let's mix it. Once it will be cold, you can use a Mr. Mixer Grinder to mix it up. Or you can even use any type of masher. Now I'm gonna make paste with mixer grinder I'm using now in trade some water and mush so first let's pour some water on the tray Done putting water. Then we have to take the mush and keep it into the water. Then we have to take the paste I'm just pouring. Now we have to spread it. We have to strain it. Strain means you have to remove all the water. Now let's dry it. Let's just dry it. So if you don't, it, you can use a cloth or tissue paper or you can use a sponge. I think now we are done. Let's slowly take this out from it.
you have to take a cloth and cover it. Then you have to take a rolly pin and roll it. We have to wipe the water. Now we have to remove the cloth over the over the paste. Next we have to pick it up slowly and put it into a board or chalkboard. Very carefully we have to remove this mush. So the next step is you have to put this into the sunlight for one or two days or you can use a hair dryer. Let it dry for one or two days. It got dried. The back side is smooth and the front side is a little rough. Look, the leaves were falling down the floor. Now we have to slowly remove the papers from the board. papers are done. If you want, you can shape your paper into any type of shape. I'm going to do a square. Now, let's test the paper. I'm using a board marker. 